Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically export HTML emails from Figma and then take those HTML emails and upload them into the customer.io marketing platform to use as custom email layouts. So to get started, all we need to do is go to Figma and in your Figma file, if you click on the little resources icon at the top here and just search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y and under the plugins tab, you'll see Emailify pop up. If you just go ahead and click on that results, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this more options icon here and clicking save plugin. And that's just gonna save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm just gonna right click on my canvas. I'm just gonna go down to plugins. I'm gonna go down to saved plugins and then just click on the emailify item. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is you can basically use it to help you design HTML marketing emails in Figma. So for example, if we create a new email called my email and add a new emailify frame, uh, this will basically allow us to start designing an email using uh, some of the tools in the plugin. So we can do things like add headers, we can add uh, CTAs, we can add content, and all of this is totally customizable in Figma as you'd expect. Uh, so I won't go into detail about how to design the emails in this tutorial. There's another tutorial on our YouTube channel if you want to check that out. Today I'm just going to be showing you how to export this to HTML for the customer.io platform. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So what I'm going to do first is just make sure I've got the customer.io footer included. So if you go to the footer tab in the plugin, you'll see there's a bunch of different platforms here and these contain some of the required links and tags uh, for the platform to use when it gets uploaded. So for example, we've got customer.io down here. So I'm just gonna click on that one and that's automatically gonna add this footer component to my email. And if I drill down into this uh, layer here and go into the navigation component, you can see if I click on the HTML and mobile settings button in the plugin, you can see that the unsubscribe link is pre-populated in the URL field uh, along with the view in the web browser link. So this is gonna allow you to view the email in the browser. If you've received it as an email, uh, that's gonna get automatically populated by customer.io. So a customer.io template does need to have an unsubscribe link. So you can add this on your own, but the easiest way to do it is just to click on the footer component and you'll get that added automatically in there as you need. So now that that's been added, the other thing that customer.io templates require is a content tag. So anywhere in the email, you basically have to include a content tag that looks like this. So it's double curly bracket and then close double curly bracket with the word content in the middle. So what this does is it basically creates a placeholder area for your content uh, when you're uploading into customer.io and you'll be able to fill this out dynamically later uh, if you wanna do that. So basically just go ahead and pick a place in your template that you wanna create custom content in. As far as I know, you can only create one of these areas. Uh, so just pick whichever area you, you want and that'll automatically uh, get added into the HTML later. Uh, if the template's missing this tag, just because it does require it, uh, Emailify will automatically add this content tag just to the very bottom of the email, uh, just so that it's in there so that the uh, editor in customer.io doesn't complain. So we'll see what that looks like in a minute. So I'm just gonna leave that off for now, just so we can see what that uh, does. So I'm just gonna remove the content tag and just undo uh, some of that content that we just added. So if we just create uh, the default one and then export it. So now that we've got our design, all we need to do is export it to HTML. So if we click on the export HTML button in the plugin and by default, it's just this default HTML uh, export, which you can download to the computer. Uh, we're gonna go down here to the platform integration section and just click on customer.io. And once you've got customer.io selected, you'll see that it's got a button that says export for customer.io. Uh, you can add your subject line and preheader, and this will get included in the HTML file. But for today, today I'm just gonna leave those blank and export it. So I'm just gonna click on export for customer.io, and this is gonna export our email to HTML. So once it's finished exporting, you just have to click on this download your zip file button. So I'm gonna click on that now and just save it to my desktop. And if we unzip that file, I'll open up the folder so you can see what it looks like. And we've just got a few different files here. We've got our previews.html. So the previews.html is basically a file that allows you to preview the desktop and mobile version of the email. So it's good for sending to clients. 
uh, when they need to review them. And we've also got our email here. So the email folder has got our HTML in it, which is just the pure email uh, template. So that's the template. So for today, we're just gonna be looking at this index.html file. And you can see here that it's inserted the content uh, area at the bottom here because we didn't include it in our template anywhere. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move that into my code editor. So I've just got my code editor open here. So I'm gonna open up the folder again and just drag and drop the index.html file in there. And I'm just gonna select all of that code and copy it. So you can just do uh, Command C or right click and copy all of that. And if we go into customer.io now, I'm just signed into my customer.io account. And all you need to do is go into the left hand side here, scroll down to content and expand content and then go to email layouts. So if you click on email layouts and then in here, you just wanna click on the create layout button. So in the top right here, create layout. And then you wanna click on start from scratch. So we don't wanna use any pre-existing templates. So we wanna create our own. So we're gonna click on start from scratch and we can just call this whatever we want. So we'll call it uh, emailify template, create layout. And you can see here, we've got this uh, code editor that we can now paste our custom HTML in. Uh, so if we now get rid of all of this pre-existing content and just select all, so Command A or Control A if you're on Windows, delete all that. So we've still got our code copied from our code editor over here, which we grabbed. So we've copied that and in our customer.io editor, we're gonna paste that in. So just Command V or Control V if you're on Windows, paste that in and you can see all of the HTML is now pasted in there. So what we can do now is click on Save Changes. So I'm gonna click Save Changes and there we go. It's basically saved our layout uh, as we'd expect. So we've got our HTML uh, in there. We've got our unsubscribe link, view in the browser link, and we've also got our content uh, variable that was added automatically down here. So ideally you don't wanna have that down there. Uh, ideally you would populate that as I mentioned before somewhere in the content area. So you could swap that out with content and do that. So for example, I'll just show you what that looks like. So if you'd add content like that, and if we now re-export this template, so I'm just gonna click on export for customer.io again, re-export that, download the zip file again, unzip that new zip file. And if we open up that folder, we can see here that if we open up the index file, uh, I'm just gonna drag that into my code editor again, copy that. And if we go back to our browser, if we now go edit layout, so I'm just gonna click edit layout. And again, I'm gonna remove the last template paste that in and click save changes. And I'm just gonna say done editing. And there we go, we've got our content tag in there. And because we've included our own content tag, it's not gonna automatically add it to the bottom of the email. Uh, it's just gonna leave it where it is because the plugin detected that you've already added your content tag. Uh, so it's just gonna keep it there and not add its own one. Uh, the reason it adds its own one is just to make sure that uh, that tag is in there somewhere. Otherwise the template basically just won't get saved. So you can either move that or uh, do something with it or ideally just add it to your design beforehand. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. We've got our email template in here now. Uh, so that's what it looks like. Um, it's looking really good. And if we go to our content section again and go back to email layouts, we can now see that we've got our emailify template in there, uh, which is available to use in campaigns or sends later. So yeah, that's in there now. You can use it, uh, you can create campaigns with it and basically do whatever you want with it uh, going forward. So um, that's what that looks like there. Okay, so we'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to keep this uh, quite simple just to show you the basics of exporting HTML from emailify for customer.io and uploading that as a new email layout in the customer.io platform uh, when you're logged into your customer.io account. Uh, so you might be wondering why this can't be done automatically. Uh, you might have noticed there's a few other platforms that are in here. So there's um, you know, MailChimp, Klaviyo, uh, Mailgun, all these different platforms uh, which allow you to add an API key and automatically upload these things. Um, unfortunately, customer.io, the platform, doesn't have an, em an endpoint or an API uh, that allows us to automatically upload the templates into the platform, uh, which would be really handy, but unfortunately it doesn't have that. So uh, we do have to do this extra step of manually copying, pasting it 
uh, into your template section. Um, but once it's in there, you've basically got it in there forever and you can just create new uh, campaigns from the template or reference that layout however you need to. So um, I just wanted to add that context just in case you're wondering uh, why it can't be done via an API. Uh, that's sadly the case at the moment, but hopefully they add that in, in the future and then uh, the plugin I'm sure will be updated to do that automatically as well. So yeah, let's leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.